Hey again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today is Saturday, March 12th, 2022. And if you're hanging out here with me again, I really do appreciate it because there's a lot of people making a lot of great content, some great, some not so great. But if you're, if you're still with my discussion, then, uh, I really do appreciate it. So, uh, anyways, on to, let's talk about our, the topic of the channel, which is narcissism, the narcopath and what they do to us and make no mistake the narcopath really does do things to you and uh, most of the time it's unbeknownst to you what they are going to do and when they're doing it because most of the time they are stealth in their actions it can be really difficult to understand what it is that you're dealing with in the past I've talked about how people use language or rather the misuse of language and how they cover up uh, true intentions and how they uh, manipulate and guide their victims around until uh, well it can be actually to devastating experiences until you start to wake up or until we start to wake up to what they are doing and um, it's just a little at a time you know it's like the um, uh, death by a thousand cuts with one of these monsters so now, in the past, I've been talking about the narcopaths that are around me and that they are, uh, the ones that are around me have been close to me. And, and I've mentioned before that it's hard to, it's hard for someone to destroy you if it's just the person behind the counter at the grocery store. So, but I've mentioned that they are all female in my uh, instance. And that is, has changed to a check the box of not true now. And uh, I want to explain to you or share with you my thoughts on on the narcopath and why I think that uh, male and female narcopaths are different. Look, no matter how you cut it, no matter how you slice it, people are different and there's different flavors of all kinds of, of there's just different flavors. The spectrum of humanity is so wide that you just can't cast a one size fits all. You just can't do it. So when people are talking about their experiences and sharing their experiences on, on these platforms or others, uh, they're coming from, from different spots and they've had, like I said, it's, it's just different no matter how you look at it. So I've already established that it is different. The What I've noticed is that um, expectations of behavior and, and uh, how people relate to others have a huge impact on how the narcopath handles themselves. So in the case of this, is if y'all don't like this, it's fine. But I'm just putting these out here. I'm not trying to cause some big division or anything. The female narcissist seems to be more stealth. They just seem to, it's, they, the covert narcissist seem to be more female than not, at least in my experience. And I keep hearing that it's it's really roughly 50-50 when it comes to the gender. There's no spectrum. It's male and female. Now let's get that. If you're on this channel and you don't, you're mad at that, you're going to have to go somewhere else because I'm not going to acquiesce to that kind of nonsense. But I noticed that the that the female narcopaths are very stealth. It's a, which to me is is actually more dangerous because it's really difficult to. to uh, tell when they're pushing the buttons and what they're doing i just it's something that uh a lot of people just can't well, listen most of would we be having these conversations if we'd seen it before it seems to be that they're covert and um, they have a, a lot of real tricky ways of handling things especially the backstabbing and gossip that seems to be the big ones but i recently ran into actually i run into a couple of them and realized these guys are these guys are narcopaths. These these men are narcopaths, and what what is it that they do that's different? I think that the narcopath. I don't know if they know this consciously or unconsciously. It doesn't even matter. But they they put on a facade. We already know that. And so the like I said the the female narcissist could be like this little wave. She's just a victim. She's She's always being victimized, the poor thing. She has nothing but good for the world. And in the background, she's destroying families or destroying her own family or doing, you know, horrible, terrible things. On the other side, the male narcopaths are, uh, you know, take charge and, you know, very gregarious and open personality and always seeming like they're going to help. And, you know, they're more open with it because, frankly... <laughs> 
men go, don't get mad at me, but we're, we don't really think as deep as, as they do when it comes to these kind of issues. You know, I'm just, you know, if I'm going to help you, you know it. If you know I'm mad, you know it. If I'm not going to help you, you know it. You know, I just, I don't play games with that. But um, anyway, the, the, guy, the two fellows that I know are just as inclined to use situations and children on Facebook, you know, like I'm just the greatest guy. Here's my grandkids and this, you know, but you know, basically they're, they're really just emotional terrorists anyway, because they use everyone around them. They never ever do what they say they're going to do. And then I ran into one recently with, that was a very, very dangerous person. Uh, he doesn't know about any of these conversations, excuse me. So I, it's, I feel like it's okay. And I'm not divulging obviously anybody's identity. Uh, but this fellow, in his gregarious and open and take charge way, uh, in the uh, in the field that I'm in, uh, began to relay some stories to me that were very disturbing, and um, it was the difference between the take charge masculine uh, way of doing things to manipulating the shit out of everybody around him via threats via telling people stories of how he's behaved in the past. And uh, I noticed at the very beginning what this fella had done is he was very, very helpful, very quickly. And I thought that was just, you know, wow, this is this is weird. I didn't take it as, um, okay, I'll have to give you some, I have to give you some picture. We were on a job. There were several other companies on these jobs, and uh, he was very helpful with, with my fellows that work under me and uh, just seem to be so giving and open you know very quickly and what that does is it creates a uh, it creates a debt is what ha what happens with these people and uh, I got to us speaking with the fellow uh, uh, we talked about uh, some of the bigger jobs that we wanted to um, discuss and uh, perhaps go in on and some other anyway I was watching how he behaved, and everything became um, either an insult or a put down, a cut down. And I watched how he treated the people around him. It was a constant cut down from uh, from how they, excuse me again, from how they how they talked to how they dressed to even what they ate for lunch. Every single thing that that this fella did uh, was designed, all of his language we were talking about was designed to humiliate and put people down. I don't do that. I don't do that with my people and I never will, never have, doesn't work that way. And I feel like we have a pretty happy relationship with the people around me when we are are working. So anyway, I noticed it, it kind of triggered a, a, a kind of response in me. He started trying to talk to me that way and I was like, we're not, we're not doing that. You, you, <laughs> I don't think you know, and he doesn't know who he's talking to when it comes to the uh, triple PhD that I have in narcopathy from the people that have been around me in this channel for a long time. So, uh, But it, it was interesting to me that I could find a differential between the male narcopath and the female narcopath. So when, when folks tend to... They, because they feign all this, they really don't know what they're doing. I mean, I'm telling you, like, across the board, they don't know how to behave, period. They only know how to mimic. And so when they're mimicking these these behaviors that m make you trust them or that they know what they're doing, it's not designed for for anything good. They usually lean on a lot of other people anyway because they don't know what they're doing. I watched this fellow who, who initially I thought, well, he might be a narcopath, but at least he knows what he's doing. No, no, wrong, wrong again. I was watching him misdesign things, and I just, but of course, I was not able to, uh, knowing what I know now, I was very careful, and I hope you all are too, when you run into one, I was very careful to not uh, divulge what I knew, insult him in any way, because you, you're looking at retaliation. Just me pulling back off of the projects that we were working on was enough to insult this guy and enough for him to start pursuing pursuing me in some ways that um, that were very uncomfortable. You know, so you know you got to watch out. Sometimes you run into these people, and um, it's hard to tell if it's a take charge male or a wave female. 
it's hard to tell that they are narcopaths and they have nothing good in store for you. So there is a difference. Uh, I have run into a couple. That one was very interesting. Some someday I may tell you the rest of it. The guy is just the guy is just a mess. He's just a really bad person. And uh, but on the surface, you know, he's just a just a helpful guy that just wants to help all the people around him. Nothing can be further from the truth with these people. So anyhow, um, I hope that doesn't ruffle your feathers. I'm not trying to hurt anybody who doesn't know what their gender is, but uh, uh, but to me it looks like there's there's just some differences. So anyhow. All right, well, look, um, I wasn't even going to make a, a video today, but, um, you know, it's just such a beautiful day out. I was going to head out, and and I just didn't want to miss it, so I promised you. So I'm still I'm still on it, okay? So, all right, so um, if you like these videos, if you think that they're worth uh, sharing, please do share. And it does, it really means a lot to me, the comments and the likes and the, and the uh, subscriptions. And thank you, the subscriber count has gone up since then. Um, again, I want to thank you if you're hanging out with me. So, all right, listen, I'm going to sign off here and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thanks.